At this point, Jalen feels like a really boring book series that you can't bring yourself to put down because everyone tells you it gets good, but every time you open it, you get bored and you just keep closing it. But for some reason, something new has to happen that catches your eye again, and you give it another chance even though you know you shouldn't, and then you end up in a cycle of constantly checking out this book, reading the same thing over and over and over, and then not being surprised at all when the same thing you've read before happens again, but you want to make sure you don't miss anything from the story, so you continue revisiting it. I've said a lot of that to say that Jalen's looped the cycle again, and once again, Jalen has made a video about the drama, apologising? Honestly, nobody is surprised at this point, it seems like a weekly tradition that Jalen will apologise for one thing or another, and then continue to do the exact same fucking thing over and over and over again, regardless of how much backlash it gets them. And as it seems to be tradition for the Jalen cycle to continue, I'm sure you can probably guess if you've seen my previous videos what I'm about to say next. I'm friends with Jalen, and I don't really want to hate on them unnecessarily, I make these videos to be critical of them in hopes that they change. That doesn't mean making a fake apology to just ignore the backlash though. Before this video begins, as I said with every one of my videos, I release videos very frequently. Actually, in fact, I'm going to try go back to daily uploading as I've now finally moved over my workflow from Vegas Pro to Premiere Pro, which is a much better software because it doesn't crash all the time, it has a lot more features, and honestly, it just runs so much better and doesn't export videos as one gigabyte, which means that I have to re-render and re-render them. It's a, it's a whole thing that I was dealing with that meant that I couldn't upload as much as I wanted to, but it's all sorted now. We're back! <laughs> I feel like I say that every time I make another video. If you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I make videos, again, as I said, frequently. I'm aiming for 100k in the next few months. Your support is the only way that goal becomes achievable. Thank you to all of the people that support the channel. And if you'd like to support me on other social media platforms, I do have a Twitter if you'd like to check out my opinions over there that don't get made into videos or see me row with YouTubers for funny little debates on the timeline. With that being said, let's get right into it. This situation reignited and literally set on fire when Jalen appeared on a debate against Lerix, the person who originally released the video criticising them that Jalen said they were going to get taken down for violating the TOS that started this whole situation in the first place. And this stream, where they debated Lyrics, went just as well as you would expect from Jalen, okay? It was really fucking bad, like egregiously bad. Half of it is just dead silence when Jalen's supposed to be responding but they say nothing. And I've, <laughs> I've lamented to Jalen about how bad of an idea it was to appear on a stream like this, because why the fuck would you do this? Like, if you knew you were wrong, which they say they knew they were wrong, before the stream. Why would you appear on a stream and discuss it? You make yourself look like an idiot and destroy your rep in the process. But obviously there are a few things I want to cover from this debate because Jalen says some really interesting things and I think that if I didn't cover them I would be doing a disservice to people who haven't already seen the debate. So let's give it a look. Why was my video on you deserving of getting flagged? Like what specific moment of my video? Because in your recent video you dropped like yesterday, you doubled down and claimed that the reason you were justified in flagging my shit was because of me showing a tweet of yours that you publicly sent out for fucking everyone to see. But also, recently, like, you've been flip-flopping with this drama for, like, quite some time now. First, you said you flagged it because the video was bullying and harassing you. Then it was apparently because I have a history of harassing you when I've made a total of, like, three fucking videos on you ever. And then in Tommy C's chat, you claimed it was because I said slurs in my video, which none of them were directed at you or insulting you. And now, apparently, it's because I showed a fucking public tweet of yours. So, let's hear it. Well, what's the real fucking reason, Jalen? All of the above, I guess. I don't know. I just flagged the video, okay? The problem with Jalen's whole line of justification here is the fact that the video wasn't bullying and harassment, that is a fundamentally dishonest argument. The video doesn't include anything derogatory towards Jalen, except for what I presume to be unintentional misgendering. Showing someone's public tweet is not a reason to take down their video, let's make that very clear as well. And because Lyrics has a history of bullying them, which as far as I'm aware, they don't. They've just had public disagreements with them before. And then Jalen says all of the above, after Lyrics literally literally debunked basically everything they said, and the only point that Jalen had to stand on, the public tweet, is literally not something violating the guidelines. And then Jalen tries to play it down as just a flag. This is exactly how Susie Liu acted, and how they took action against videos, which led to so many people criticising them. It's such a terrible line of thinking that really doesn't look good for you, and will only serve to damage your rep in the community. But as everyone in the commentary community knows, flagging down videos is not something you should do. 
do, especially as a public creator, when you use your platform to state that you're flagging a video because it violates the TOS, you can very easily lead to videos from smaller creators being unjustly taken down. This isn't just a flag, it's what it represents and it's how dishonest you are in your takedown that people are criticizing you for. And I say all that without even mentioning the fact that this could lead to mass flagging campaigns. One of the most dishonest and non-condonable ways to get a video taken down on this platform. I mean, look, okay, by, look, by, in all did, honesty, yeah. I just said a bunch of like bullshit, okay? That's the truth. I don't even like, I don't stand by anything I've said in the past. Like, it was oh, all okay. just in the moment. Understandable. Like, you know what? You know, in all honesty, I don't care, all right? I shouldn't have flagged your video that was stupid in the first place, but I have to like defend it. I like have no choice but to defend me flagging your video. Well, wait, what the fuck why? does that mean? Don't you think it's honorable? If, like, if you do something, that you later disagree with, isn't it dishonest to still keep arguing in favor of that position? Isn't it more honorable to be like, look, I fucked up, I made a mistake, this was wrong of me? Because that's what Bo Blacks had to do when he got called out for flagging. He had to be like, look, it was bad, it was wrong, you know? Well, yeah, yeah. This debate is so incredibly hard to watch because it's like if you don't stand by a point of view you've had in the past, you can disavow it. You can say you don't stand by that stance anymore. You can say you disagree with what you've said. You can apologize there and then. You don't need to go on a debate and argue and argue and argue your point, try and accuse the other person of harassment, etc, etc, etc. To stand behind a take you don't even hold. Just be honest. All people expect from you as a content creator is to be honest and transparent with your audience. Not not to be a hypocrite who lies and goes against the morals they pretend to uphold online and don't even stand by the takes they're parading around arguing in debates. It's a terrible idea to act that way and it seems so disingenuous to your audience. Why did they do this? They just made themselves like a hundred times worse. If they entered this stream or even they didn't have to go in this stream, if they tweeted saying, I was wrong, I don't stand by what I said, we could have skipped this whole fucking debate and it would have been so much easier and wasting everyone's time on a debate about something you don't even agree with. Everybody makes mistakes. I've made mistakes in my career online and had to address them. People in this debate have made mistakes online and had to address them. Everyone watching this video has made a mistake, a very severe mistake. Everyone has. Every human has made a massive mistake they regret. That's life. But when you're disingenuous with your audience, you sever that only piece of trust that they have in you. And it's why Jalen's losing subs now because no one can trust your word and as a content creator saying things like I don't stand by anything I've said after going on a debate to continue trying to fight that point of view makes you seem untrustworthy makes people find it harder to value respect or even agree with the things you say it's hard to trust your word in the future on anything as a drama channel whose career hinges on their opinion you need to be trusted at your word your word needs to hold weight if you your word is like water, no one will care to hear your opinion. And when it's so blindingly obvious to everyone that whenever you make a mistake, you'll fight it until you're losing ground, realize you can't fight it anymore, and then you'll apologize even if you don't mean it, nobody values your opinion anymore. It won't go down because YouTube doesn't take videos down. What do you think that proves? Like, what do you, what, by saying that, what the fuck? The YouTube do you... system sucks. That's what I'm saying. So that makes it justified that you fucking flag shit? Yes? Because the YouTube None of your system videos is went down. So there's Okay, really so okay. That. So it, it's okay that you just flagged it because uh, I never got anything taken down. That that's the argument you're making. Yeah, it's really okay. not a big deal. This is really not a good look, and this is exactly where the disconnect lies between Jalen, their credibility, and everyone criticizing them for this situation. Your credibility goes out of the window when you don't stand by a single decision you've made that has tension around it. And nobody respects someone who flags down videos that don't violate the guidelines or attempts to get videos taken down or reports videos knowing that the takedown they were submitting is false, and then they continue to try and justify it across a stream and waste people's 
was time. This is a really bad look. And as such, I think it's time we go to Jalen's apology. It's finally time that I take accountability for my actions. So this YouTuber, Lyrix, who I have a long history with, I'd say this guy is probably my nemesis, all right? You have Leafy and Keemstar, H3, H3, they're all kind of nemesis. Well, Lyrix is my H3, H3, or Keemstar. And when he made a video on me, my immediate reaction was, this violates the YouTube guidelines, and I'm gonna report this video, which obviously wasn't the right way to go about it. I actually tried to reverse this report later on because I realized how stupid it was to just report someone's video for no reason pretty much, which is why when I went on to debate, I really had nothing to say because I couldn't defend it. I, I didn't stand by what I had done. Obviously, there's nothing that I can say in response to Turkey Tom's video. I pretty much agree with almost everything that he said, and I apologize to Larix for flagging his video. That's something I shouldn't have done, and it's something that I'm never gonna do again. And this is where we're running into a problem. I've heard Jalen apologize for so many reasons, so many times now, that when Jalen apologizes and says, I'm not gonna do this again, I can't believe that word anymore. I can't trust that they won't do this again. I can't trust that they won't end up in another drama next week. Because every time Jalen says something, they go against it. They betray their own word and end up becoming a massive hypocrite. This is the problem with Jalen making these mistakes over and over. This is the problem with the Jalen cycle. Now Jalen releasing this video just gets mocked to shit on Twitter because no one can even take the thought of Jalen actually changing seriously. And while I've been added to private servers with Jalen where it does appear that they actually have made up with a lot of the creators they had drama with, which is something they said they were going to do, that doesn't mean they won't have drama again in the future. As a drama creator, it's basically expected. And if that drama is going to go the exact same way as all these other ones do, that's a problem. Jalen can't continue this career if they continue acting like this because they're digging a grave for their reputation and credibility by doing so. I'm just disappointed man and I hope that Jalen actually does seriously like they say they're going to learn, change and not do this shit again because they're losing subs and at this rate they're going to destroy their entire career and half of their uploads are gonna be apology videos. I don't even know what to say because whenever I give Jalen criticism we have a VC and we talk about it and they agree with me me and they're like, yeah, yeah, I'll take your advice. And then they don't. They never do. They continue doing the exact same shit I criticized them for. It sucks. It fucking sucks. Because no matter what I do, I know they'll dig themselves a grave again in the future. But with that being said, I'm gonna end this video here. This video was more of a less scripted video where I just sit down and talk about something. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I'm very tired. And I'm literally just giving my thoughts directly without any sort of like filter or whatever. If you enjoy content like this, please do let me know and I'll make more videos like this in the future. Really, this video only serves as a way of presenting a newer editing style, testing out a few things that I've never done before with videos, now I'm on Premiere, and seeing how it goes, seeing how it flows, seeing what it looks like, seeing if it's worth doing in the future, or if I should stick to my more confined, scripted, simple editing style that I use normally for these videos. Depending on how long this video takes to edit, we will see. Thanks for watching, feel free to subscribe to the channel, I'm aiming for 100k in the next four months, now I think it is, I, I say I think it is every time, it's four months, it is four months. If you could subscribe, that support would would be immeasurable. I'm working what I'd like to believe is really hard and the amount of support I've seen goes beyond any of my expectations. I, I, I really just want to say thank you. Thank you for all of the support you give me. If you don't follow my Twitter already, I would suggest following it. I have some funny tweets or whatever. I don't know. I, I think I'm quite funny over there. This tweet was pretty good. Put it on screen, me. Feel free to check out my ReZero video. It's a video I made that took about five years to make. It's a video I'm really proud of. It's a video I think you'll enjoy. It will be in the end card when the outro plays. Check it out. That would mean a lot to me. I appreciate all of the support on that video especially because it's a passion project so far out of my regular content that if you check it out I know you're only checking it out to give it a chance and if you give it a chance that means a lot to me and from all of the comments I've seen everyone that checks it out is really enjoying the video even if they don't watch anime or anything like that so if you could give it a chance that would mean a lot. Thanks for watching I'll see you next time and peace. Let me we can catch a fly. Says she wanna rock when it let me.